Hey guys, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Uh, and today I'd like to just play around a little bit and talk about the FOB, or the Forward Operating Base, uh, gameplay that they just released uh, at Gamescom 2015. Um, they released about, I'd say, a 30 minute video that kind of combined the Mother Base mechanic uh, as well as like the last 15 or 12 minutes of um, your FOB system and how it worked and um, how it it's different between the actual mother base of your single player campaign and the extended version of the FOB system which kind of goes out to the world which is not really Metal Gear Online um, but it is an online feature that uh, can essentially aid your mother base uh, in your single player campaign. Um, so yeah, just kind of getting right into it. As uh, the trailer kind of starts out, uh, you're in a mission, you're doing your own gameplay, and then they got a notification that someone was infiltrating your base. And this kind of raised my first question. Um, do you get a notification if somebody is in your base, uh, whether they've been spotted or not, or do you only get it when they've killed a guard, if they've broken some kind of security system, or if they've been spotted? Uh, it didn't really say, so it's kind of one of my concerns right there. Like, if I can get through an entire sneaking mission of somebody else's FOB, uh, without alerting a guard or tripping a system or being on a camera feed or uh, one of the UAV spotting me. Uh, I'd like to do that. I like that ability. Or uh, vice versa, if someone's able to do that to my base, uh, I'd like to see that. Like coming back and after a while going, oh my god, you know, my entire base has been raided. Uh, you know, what happened? And then from there, kind of going back and redeveloping my security systems and kind of uh, channelizing some of these uh, problem areas that I have. And so that, that's why I like this system. However, I kind of wish they would have expanded upon that a little bit more. Uh, getting more into that, if someone's sneaking inside of your base and you don't know they're there, but they're killing all of your guards, they're uh, maybe disabling some of your equipment, uh, are those pieces of equipment completely damaged? or destroyed. Like, you're never going to be able to use them again, or they just go to your support unit and they fix them. Uh, the same thing with the guards. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit concerned with how they showed it. Is it going to be more like where it was Peace Walker, uh, where they just went to sickbay? Uh, even if they got hurt or injured or killed um, when you were sending them out on missions, or someone coming in and infiltrated your area? Or does it work in the sense that if that guard's dead, they're dead? Um, and you're going to have to go either hire somebody new, uh, recruit somebody, or find a POW. Uh, and that's kind of crappy if you've been working on these guys for so long, and someone just comes through and completely eradicates uh, your security force. So that's going to be kind of a, a weird problem area, especially for somebody who's you know going to be spending tons and tons and tons of time setting up security routes, uh, surveillance, uh, different levels of... of your, your first, second, and third deck, which that's what it seems like you're only kind of um, restricted to. It seems like you've got the upper portions where you can climb on, at the same time you've got the below deck, and then I think you've got one more sub-level that you're able to uh, go into if you're the infiltrator. Um, are you able to put guards roving there? Um, are you able to put cameras? I'm sure you are, but how much customization do you really have as the player? Are you going to be able to put actual guards here and say this is going to be your route or is this going to be your security feed that you've got to watch from time to time? Uh, can you vary the times? Can you make it so that he's only here for 15 minutes one time and then if you come back again he's only there for six? So kind of varying their their, their patterns. And hopefully you're able to do that. It looks like they showed a little bit at in the uh, demo video but I wasn't sure how much you're able to really customize. Um, now moving on, uh, like I said before it's going to be pretty terrible if someone comes through your base and they just completely eradicate everybody. They take them out, they throw them off the deck, they're headshotting everybody, uh, and you actually catch the defender. Say you win, you find out who it is. Uh, now, by winning, do all of those guards and all that equipment come back to life, or do they go to sick bay, or are they gone for good? Uh, so I'm kind of worried about that. Like, if I win, do I really win? I mean, somebody just came in and jacked up all my stuff. And yeah, I got him, but what do I get as the defender? Uh, that I, Hey, I, I beat the guy, or hey, I get some of my stuff back. Um, and I guess some of the winning is going back and retaliating against whoever did it, because I, I certainly will be. Um, that's going to be a great challenge. I'm looking forward to competing with some of my friends, uh, seeing how well their base is, kind of working with them. Like, hey, I attacked your base, and I found some weak points uh, along your your facility, you know, you maybe should put some cameras here, or this is how I snuck in, and kind of helping your friend, or not helping him, and kind of just <laughs> kind of wreaking havoc on their uh, their whole base. 
Uh, and with that being said, um, it was interesting how they had mentioned that your buddy can actually come in and help defend your base. Now, they didn't specify whether this would be actually working with you as a co-op, like two guys, two snakes, or two uh, other playable characters that you're able to recruit or create or whatever it's going to be, um, going in and actually defending your, your base and how that's going to work. Uh, how is that going to be leveled? Or is it possible at all? Maybe it's just your buddy coming in while you're out in the field like, man, I, I cannot leave this mission right now or I haven't completed a mission. Uh, let me just, you know, message my buddy like, hey, could you come uh, help us out? Or does it notify your other buddy saying, hey, just to let you know, uh, you know, Ryan's being attacked right now. You can go help his base. Uh, and what kind of rewards will you reap for, for helping um, defend your buddy's base? Uh, moving along. Now... There's a lot of turrets and uh, anti-air guns and vehicles that you're able to fault them back to your base. And they say, oh, you need them for certain missions, you need them to build your stuff. Um, and you can actually add them to your, your Ford operating base. I have yet to actually see anybody use them, uh, whether it be Snake, your buddy, or guards. I haven't seen anybody use them. It's kind of a hair of concern. Like, it seems like if I've got a 50 cal mounted up, and you know I've got a team that's going in. I've got a pretty good base of fire that I can hold if, if that guy comes around the side of a crate or main avenues of approach. I, I've got a pretty good base of fire I can set down um, from where I'm at. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that's something you can set into your uh, security plan or if they just don't use it and those those turrets are just for you. Um, so it's kind of a kind of a weird question there. Uh, as far as sneaking around and uh, destroying someone's base or, or stealing supplies and faulting things out, I don't think that it is completely unfair. I think if you're seen, um, it did a pretty good job as, as I saw the mechanics. Like, if, if you get seen, it feels like, oh, that was it, you got saw. Or you were heard, or you tripped an alarm. Um, it didn't seem like it was cheap or um, over problematic for the uh, the attacker at the same time it didn't seem like uh, as the defender like wow none of my stuff is working because clearly the guards are reacting uh, clearly some of the security stuff is working because as you saw they shot out one of the security cameras and then guards came and looked at it uh, I only saw one guard at that time go for that now uh, if you've got guards that are stationed at guard posts or checkpoints or certain levels if I start a commotion somewhere else are they gonna just leave their post because they're close proximity and uh, you know now I'm able to sneak around or the attackers able to sneak around these defense points and just go through kind of all willy-nilly I'm kind of concerned about that as well I hope that if your guards are supposed to stay somewhere and unless like CP calls them like hey uh, Zulu 10 I need you to go check this out because it's in your area and then the surrounding guards are able to go oh hey something's wrong with Zulu 10 we need to uh, to kind of surround that area uh, before the, the person leaves um, Headshots. Uh, if you headshot somebody that's attacking your base, are they instantly down? Uh, are you instantly down if you get headshot as a defender? Uh, I couldn't really tell. It looks like a lot of the shots were sporadic. Um, I tried to slow down the video and I couldn't really see um, much of them actually hitting the head of, of the opponent. Um, so if, if that's the case, man, you know, like why not just set up a sniper pause or um, you know, really ensure that your shots are accurate so it causes that person to respawn as the defender and you can just keep moving forward towards your objective. Um, at the same time, uh, you know, are we going to have some really intense sniper battles? Uh, you know, attacker defender on different ends of the, the platforms and just kind of going at it. And that'd be kind of an interesting gameplay as well. Uh, as far as um, setting up roadblocks um, or... I don't, I don't know, booby traps, uh, as the defender or as the attacker, um, I didn't really see a lot of vehicles being used. I actually didn't see any uh, via the FOB, uh, FOB um, gameplay. But as the attacker, it seemed like you were able to set up a lot of booby traps. Uh, the gas mines, uh, just kind of moving around, uh, making look over here at the box with sleeping gas and all that stuff. That seemed like really great. Are you able to, to do as much? So like as the defender, are you able to set up your own booby traps? Not just the roving patrols or the uh, infrared lasers or the cameras or the UAVs. Like are you able to go into your, your own fob and inspect it? Kind of like you would inspect Mother Base and set up your own booby traps, essentially channelizing the enemy into where you want to go. Um, like right here, I've set up some claymores and C4, kind of like a roadside explosive. So that way when the LAV comes down the road, it's going to victim activate and set its own self off. 
Uh, I'm going to be out of the area, so no one's going to know it's me. They'll know that the base is being attacked, but they don't know who, and that could be kind of to your benefit. So like, if they are able to use vehicles, or if they do have uh, a large group of security forces coming in to figure out what the what, what's going on, you kind of even the playing field uh, via booby traps uh, for the infiltrator, but at the same time as the defender, uh, maybe if you, you have the impact, maybe where the insertion area might be, if you kind of figure it out, uh, it'll deter them from going in. Uh, and come back to your base. You're like, well, this guy's really got it set up. I don't want to. I don't want to go in here. Um, so bringing that to the to back to the point of vehicles, like, are you able to bring in um, LAVs, tanks, um, mobile turret platforms, or whatever, and use them in the defense of your mother base or your uh, FOB system? Like that would be kind of an interesting mechanic to see. Um, as the attacker, maybe you'd kind of think of your loadout like, oh wow, this has got a really high security level. Maybe I should bring a rocket launcher or really go lightweight and kind of sneak around and hopefully no one can see me. And, and speaking of sneaking, the, the uh, stealth camo that they showed off here in the trailer, they showed it off in the single player, but I, I wasn't really sure or aware if they are able to use it in the FOB system. Uh, it's kind of concerning. Uh, yeah, they showed off like, oh, this is the experimental version of it and you know, it only lasts so long, but I'm sure to a point you're gonna get it to it's awesome and you can just wear it wherever you want. Like they shut off the Fulton system and no, oh, it's a balloon, no, oh, it's a bigger balloon, now it can carry heavier stuff, now it's a wormhole. That's a pretty big jump. So going from stealth camo that you can't be seen and only lasts for duration to okay, here's stealth camo and it lasts forever. Uh, you can just wear it, take it on and off, depending on what you want to do. Um, does it cause negative scoring if you're using it? Uh, how's that gonna work? So I want to see if that's going to be OP, or if you're even able to to wear it, or if there's ways to defeat it, like having thermal camera uh, imaging, uh, your UAV is able to kind of set out a scan, like for motion, uh, or some reflective surfaces that are able to kind of indicate or show that hey, there's somebody in the base wearing the stealth camouflage, maybe a sensor, uh, sensor or something. Um, as far as the retaliation system goes. I'd like to see it so that if you do find out who's at your base, if you do find out who came in and destroyed your stuff, or if it was a group of people, or, or whatever it was, that when you retaliate, some of the things that they stole are there within a respectable time limit. So like if you go right back in uh, to retaliate, is he going to be ready for it? Is there some of your stuff going to be there? If not, how long is that going to take? What's the cooldown system? Uh, what's the cooldown system for when you get attacked? If you get attacked, how long does it take for somebody else to come back in? Uh, if you're the attacker, how long do you get before you're able to go back in and continue on raiding and, and pillaging and basically being a pirate of the sea if you want? Uh, which would be cool because maybe you can make a lot of money that way, maybe you can get a lot more stuff like instead of playing for the game. Uh, they really gave you three options uh, to go through here and kind of play as you will. So I'm really concerned and at the same time excited and interested to see how people are going to play and how teams are going to be built. Uh, clans, factions, enemies, rivals, uh, and it's it's going to be a really interesting thing. And, and we only have about three weeks left before it all comes to fruition. Um, so, uh, pretty much without further ado, uh, I want to say thank you guys for watching again. Go ahead and leave any questions or comments or concerns you have in the comment section. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give a like. Alright, thanks a lot guys.